This is a video on top feed drip hydroponics. We will be using because 4 by 2.5 inch stone wool blocks on a 6 inch by 36 inch stone wool slab along with because hydroponic nutrients and stimulants. We start by soaking the stone wool for at least 6 hours to dissolve any lime that may be left over from the manufacturing process. Be sure to completely cover the stone wool. At this time, you may choose to add Because Root Stimulant to ensure a healthy start. Now is the time to soak the slabs. To do this, cut one end of the plastic off and then place them into the grow channels. Then, put the drip stake in the center of where you want your 4 inch blocks to go. Now put 3 drain extensions where your drain is one channel at a time letting each one fill up for a few hours and then drain. Decide how far apart you would like your plants spaced. We use the 4 inch blocks to space them out evenly. After you have them spaced the way you like, mark each corner with a marker or pen. Use a straight edge to make an X by drawing a line from one mark to the other. Do this for each block. Using a sharp knife, cut along the X lines from underneath the plastic as shown until all of the lines are cut. Lifting up the flaps, place your stone wool into the designated spot. With an empty and clean reservoir, we are ready to fill it and add our nutrients. 
As your reservoir fills, this is a good time to shake your nutrients. Shaking your nutrients is very important since they are made of several raw materials. We are using Because Hydroponic Nutrients, which consist of Part A and Part B. With any nutrients, you always want to read the instructions carefully. Before adding your nutrients, be sure to calibrate your metering equipment as according to their manufacturer's instructions. Carefully, measure and add your nutrients in proper ratios per gallon, as per the instructions on the bottle. If your nutrient has more than one part, as does ours, please be sure to stir well between adding each part. This will help prevent the fallout of certain nutrients. Using Because Root Stimulator in the first fill up of the reservoir will ensure strong and healthy roots. Once you have added your nutrients and stimulants to the desired strength, it is time to check your TDS or EC and then adjust your pH as necessary. We are starting out at 6.0 pH and 530 parts per million for our celosia plants. You may need to do some research on the plants you want to grow in order to determine their ideal pH and nutrient requirements. Place your drip stakes in place into the blocks and then run your nutrient solution through the blocks for 30 minutes and then test your solution again. Notice that our seedlings have plenty of roots as they are ready to be placed into the system. After your plants are in the system, set your pump timer to come on four times a day during the light cycle. This may need to be adjusted according to your plant's needs. Have fun and grow good stuff! <laughs>